Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to part two, three, A of uh, this track, uh, this session where we are recording a new song here in GarageBand on the Macintosh. Yes, we're using the full name of it today because it's that special. Uh, my name is Pete. If it's your first time here, this is Studio Live today where my goal is to help you and hopefully me, create, record and release your best music. This is where we're at here at the moment. We are indeed in GarageBand on the Mac. It is outside of my comfort zone because I don't use a Mac very often. And uh, I've only just started doing this, so I'm usually on the iPhone and the iPad. But uh, this is the track that we started recording. Actually, I recorded a demo two videos ago and then in the last episode... Uh, which you can catch up on. Uh, I'll drop them down in the links afterwards. But watch this one live if you're here. Uh, you can catch up on those if you're on the replay, though. So uh, this is the song. Let's turn it back up. So uh, this is uh, called Murdering Time. And as you probably have seen, I have the bass guitar in my hand because... I actually want to add some bass. I played around with an upright bass yesterday. I kind of thought it was a good vibe, but in the end, I kind of hated it. So I didn't go with it in the end. So we are going to go with something different. And uh, because I like just definitive things, I'm going to find... Where, where was that bass? There it is. There's that upright bass. I'm just going to delete it because I don't want it at all. In fact, because we're in version 3... Yes, I want to delete it. Uh, because we're in version 3... Yes, version 3 of this now, I'm going to get rid of a lot of this old stuff. Because I don't like this hanging around me. It's uh, oh, is it going to do this every time? Uh, can I do multiples? Can I shift click? No. Can I command click? No. How do I select multiple tracks? <gasps> can anyone help me? Um, this is going to take a while if I have to do this every time and then do that every time because I don't really want to do that. Uh, if anyone's got a quick way that I could have highlighted all these tracks and deleted them all, let me know in the comments. Uh, speaking of the comments, hello to everyone who is here. We have, uh, I'll, see, I'll see in a minute, well, I've got to focus on this or I'll delete something that I don't want to delete, and that would be a tragedy, right? It would be the biggest tragedy in the world ever. Not to put too fine a point on it, uh, and yes, I could have definitely done this. Don't worry, I'll be tuning my bass guitar next. The excitement never ends around here at Studio Live today. Quick word of warning, if you uh, don't like long streams and over-the-shoulder kind of things, this one may not be for you. Uh, so jump into any of the other videos. I've got five minute, two minute, 10 minute, 20 minute tutorials here on Studio Live today. Just search like Pete John's mixing or Pete John's recording. There will be a bunch of short form content there. But if you want to sit back, grab yourself a, uh, a cuppa in your uh, Studio Live Today mug. What? What's that? You don't have a Studio Live Today mug? Well, you can pick one up. In fact, right now, 20% off because I love my carrots. I love you all. Um, carrots. Go to studiolivetoday.com slash merch and put carrots in the promo code. When you check out, you'll save yourself 20% off. I've never done a 20% sale before, but I just felt like it. So I did. All right, let's let's uh, let's tune this bass. Like I said, the excitement never ends. Why is the bass not coming through? Because I don't have the volume up. Uh, there you go. Oh, that's too much volume. So now, now because some genius decided... Some genius decided, don't delete the bridge. I know, oh, did you, who, who came over from Joey Helpish's uh, show just now? He did a how-to song and he's remixed my song For The Birds and it's substantially better. And I don't say that like self-deprecating. I say that in that I, I recorded that in March of 2018. And I've learned a lot about songwriting and recording since then. So I could probably do better with it now, but it's so cool to hear and see someone else uh, re reimagining something that you've created and the, the bass groove and the funkiness that he's put in there is cool. All right, we got a bass. So we need a, we need a dial in a bass tone because at the moment we've just got a guitar tone. So clean bass is what we want. Uh, maybe just something like a hi-fi DI. Yeah, we just want... Yeah, it's something just like the... Bow, bow. All right, let's take it out of folks before we get into the, uh, the, the fine, 
the fine playing of bass guitar. I'm a I'm a I'm an average bass guitarist at best. Again, self-deprecation, Pete. Stop it. Uh, Mark is here. Hello to you, Deep Gravity, Tom Rochelle. Uh, howdy doody to uh, to Jade Star, uh, drummy extraordinaire. Ed Zed's here. Good day to you, Gary Hubs. Did I say good day to you? I'm not sure. Uh, Maury P. And uh, no one's in the house today. Bob bringing the carrots. Now, Bob, was it you that uh, did you email me? I've, I've way I've, I've caught up on emails and then I'm way behind again. Uh, if it was you uh, that emailed, because uh, yeah, you're a horn player, aren't you? And you offered to uh, to put some French horn in here, some real French horn. So maybe we'll uh, we'll take Bob up on that, and uh, maybe I'll make this project available for all to um to play around with, and uh, maybe you can add in a track or two if you want to. I'm basically going to get a finished ish version here today. Um, hey Dwight, I'm just going through saying today a finished ish aces in the house version of this today, just so that I have something that I can then share, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll see We'll see if it needs anything else. Uh, there you go. Jade's doing a final listen on the drum track. Well, while Jade finishes with the drums, um, let's uh, play around and record some bass. So if you hadn't heard this song, you'll hear it. I was going to play it first, and I'm like, no, nah, you know what? You'll hear it when I record the bass. So we'll bring, we'll bring Kyle back in here with his drums, because we've got the two bars in here, and then... I think I just need a very simple bass up the front here, and then we'll just sort of expand on it as we go through. Uh, where is it? Let's bring it up. Bring it up top so we can actually see it, and uh, we need to hear it a bit too. So we may not have the gain up this much afterwards, but we will turn the gain up now at least so that we can. And I need to make sure that's right on the D sharp there. I know, riveting, riveting stuff. Man tunes his bass guitar for a minute uh, and then drinks a sip of coffee. Uh, it's ASMR, but like a really boring version. All right, let's crack in. Um, by the way, audio, audio A OK? Just give me a thumbs up if you can in the chat to make sure that the uh, audio is uh, coming through OK. Now let's just hit record. I'm just gonna try a few things here. Make sure we got plenty of gain. It's not going to sound like that afterwards, but just so that you can hear it in the mix. And, oh, there is a recording level option there, but it's grayed out because I'm using my Scarlett audio interface. So there you go. And there's a noise gate on here as well. We'll, we'll take that off for now. Don't really want that. All right, let's hit record and uh, see what we can lay down here. All right, we're going to start up here. I don't quite know what to do with that, dude. Does it just go down to there? It doesn't sound right, does it? Um, yeah, I don't think this bass likes being down uh, this low. That's all right. We'll, we'll just lay something down and then we'll play around with it. And if there's if it ends up being no bass at all in here, so so be it. Oh, what's going on there? Oh, uh, hang on, just a moment, just a moment, players. I'll just uh, pop that up here. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's hit record and try some bass here. So. Feeling the pain, only 
diamond behind me Don't have nothing to gain At the end of my tether Only one thing to do I'm murdering time Murdering time To save myself and others From the things in my mind I'm murdering time Murdering time So I don't end up taking a life Murdering time I dream of someday When all Nah uh, yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just not feeling it. I'm going to put it aside for the moment. And what we'll do is we'll play around with adding some kind of droning bass down low. One, one side, one moment bass guitar. Sometimes you just got to go, you know what, that was a good idea. Well, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't, but we just got to try something different. So instead, let's, uh, let's work on some bass here with the keyboard by adding in a new track. Boom. Everything just fell. <laughs> <laughs> we will recover that in a moment. A guitar fell on another guitar. Never, le never lean your guitars up against uh, other guitars. It's never a good idea. Uh, software instrument. We'll come in here and we'll choose something. Create. All right. So what are we going to go with here? We need something that's going to be like low down kind of sound. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What were we doing? Woodwinds. We wanted to see if something like a uh, a low down bassoon. Maybe like a really low bassoon. No, maybe, maybe up there. Yeah, I think something like that might work for this. So we'll uh, we'll try it from the start. We'll come out to here and we will stop <laughs> stop monitoring that broken guitar. And uh, let's just try and add something like this in here. I think this might work a little bit better. Two, three, four. Yeah, maybe we do something like that. Definitely doesn't need to come in right at the start there. Um, I think it comes in a little bit later, so oh, take that off. So it does a couple of these. And then wait for this section. And then when the uh, lyrics come in, we just have a little... little all is sense in the darkness. Very just gently. All is feeling the pain. Just as a pad, right? Me. So it's almost inaudible. Don't have nothing to gain. At the end of. Yeah, that no, that needs to be no at the end of your tether. Um, so there. Yeah, this here. Uh, let's zoom on in. I'm still getting my head around these controls. Trying to use a uh, trying to use a mouse and keyboard instead of a touch screen. You wouldn't think it would be so hard, but after so many years of touch screen, it is it is very difficult. So. At the end of my tether Only one thing to do I'm murdering time I'm murdering time All right. uh, Down here, record, 
One thing to do How murdering time Murdering time Yep ba da 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 Yeah, I think that's it. It's got a, we need something down in the bass doing this, this riff. But actually starting at the right spot. Undo. <laughs> I told you. I did warn you that it would be like this, right? To save myself and others from the things in my mind. It's something to work on, right? Something to work on. Uh, folks asking about Final Touch being buggy in the chat. I don't. I haven't come across it being buggy lately, but that's just me. All right. Um, so that's that's some ideas, and what I'm going to do in we'll get everything in there, and then we'll sort of start mixing together. Jade's working on some finalities for the drums, um, and then uh, yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll work on some other things. Now, while we've got a bassoon going on. <laughs> Like I didn't mean for this uh, this song to kind of take on this uh, this feel, but I actually wanted to try and adding in something like a clarinet as well in the bits where everything else is coming in. I need something to sort of come in in between before we get to this big build up. We need something in here that's going to like build us into here. Maybe it's the strings actually. Maybe we just add more strings. So we'll come down here to the string ensemble. In fact, because uh, it, it's there's too much contrast. Something needs to build here. Between here and here. So about here. At the end of my tether. Only one thing. Yeah, I think we need something to complement that bassoon. So now what were these strings doing? What what sort of register were these in? in time. Alright, so they were. So I think we'll uh, I'll play along with the strings and we'll just see where it where it naturally needs to come in here. So we'll hit record at the start here and just try something. Why am I soloed? <laughs> That's never gonna work, is it? All this sense in the darkness. I reckon after this one. Only feeling the pain. Yeah, so like add the strings that will come in like. Only time is behind me. Don't have nothing to gain. At the end of my tether. Only one thing to all right that, that's an idea we'll come back to here we'll just do that again it's definitely around about there that we need it all this sense the darkness only feeling the pain only time is behind me 
have nothing to gain. At the end, didn't like that at all. So. No, it's got to end on the D. Yeah, we need that D to just like um, bring it into. So we'll just only feeling the pain. Only time is behind me. Don't have nothing to gain. At the end of my tether Only one thing to do I'm a so I've got to fix up that twiddling guitar. <laughs> There's a bit of the guitar there where I start just sort of uh, noodling before it actually comes in. It's annoying me every time. So uh, let's just bring this in here. Because it's a bit where it does that. Bring, 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 bring. All right. And I do want to also, with these two little lead guitar bits, uh, get some stereo. Start start working on the panning. So, uh, so I reckon this has got to come in over, actually on the right side. And then put this half left when it brings in its second one. We're good. Now, uh, Jade has got some drums. So there you go. We've got some drums that we can add into this in just a moment, uh, which we will do. And I think we also need a bit of a shaker pattern as well going on here. So why don't we, uh, I, might, I might add in a shaker and then we'll see if it matches to, to what Jade's drums have. So. so I'm just hearing like a shh, 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 shh. And I haven't played around much with, uh, with drummer here in... Actually, we could probably even go for a loop, couldn't we? I've never used an Apple loop. So let's uh, let's see what we've got in the way of shaker loops, and we'll audition a few. So we can use... Um... No. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Oh, you know what? Loops are going to be completely non-working, aren't they? Because this is in 6.8. Forget you, loops. Loops and 6.8 time just do not go well together. So we'll go back to our original concept here, which is to add a drummer loop instead. And uh, we will throw in, uh, oh goodness, uh, all right, percussion, percussion, and we want some uh, songwriter percussion here, and we want, let's just go with something like, uh, oh, sleigh bells, does this have a shaker at all, shaker and tambourine, so we'll just see what sort of uh, subtleness we get here with uh, Finn in the coffee shop. Doesn't sound right, does it? it? Needs to be something really subtle. Maybe we have, maybe we bring the cajon in here. <laughs> Some stomps. I kind of like the footsteps and the stepping sort of sound that you get there with the with the um with the stomps. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute that for now. Uh, let's see if I can work out how the heck to uh, to get something in here <laughs> to get uh, Jade's drums in this one. So I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna get a messenger. Uh, no, you can't see any of this because it's all in the in the privacy window. I'm sorry, I can't share my privacy window. I'll have some coffee while we do this. Mm -hmm. Load up this sucker over here. 
Alrighty. So we have the zip item here that Jade has shared. We will download it. Uh, yes, Google Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses. Download anyway? Sure, why not? Uh, so it's uh, downloading, and it is uh, downloading the zip file. So it's doing that now. This is a bit exciting uh, because uh, I can I can stop tr struggling for a while and uh, put uh, someone else to the test. Because <laughs> sometimes sometimes things work well, and sometimes things go just the way you want to. Sometimes they don't. The thing is, when they don't, don't stress so much. Remember, unlimited retries. Uh, we can continue doing this for as long as we want. All right, so it is there in my download. I'm going to copy it. Uh, yep, so it's murdering time for Jade Drums. And I'm going to pop it in the iCloud Drive folder that I'm working on here, which is in my Studio Live Today folder. And I'm going to right-click and paste item. And that way everything is nice and neat and tidy in the same spot. So it is copying. It's making the weird I've done a thing noise. And is it in here? Uh, murdering time. Oh, where did it put it? Did it? It said it did it. Uh, uh, why did it not put it here? What, why am I, what am I missing? Uh, I'll try it again. No? <laughs> All right, I'll try to just open it from downloads. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. If I just double click it from downloads, here we go. Uh, do you want to save Murdering Time 3? Yes, okay. Let's save Murdering Time 3 and it should open Murdering Time 4. All right, so this is the uh, the version. Now, this is an older version because I sent Jade a very early cut of this that only had the uh, the vocals and guitar in it. Um, but let's just take a listen to this and then we'll work out how we copy drums from one track to another track. There you go. I eventually did this. <laughs> uh, yeah, soft drummer might work better, Ed, but that's on iOS. I know, I know. All right, we'll, uh, we'll play this and take a listen. Sense in the darkness, only feeling the pain. Very cool. I like it. It's got that intensity that I, I think I need in this song. I'm, I'm torn with this one whether to strip it down and keep it bare or to give it some intensity. And I'm thinking as I'm upping the tempo and as I'm bringing it together, I'm kind of making this version of it more intense. I think, I think sometimes it's easier to start that way and then you can strip back. It's harder to add in stuff uh, later. So that's what we're going with. Now, I've got no, absolutely no idea if this is going to work or how to even do this, but I, can I copy? can I copy that whole drum bit here can I copy the whole track even? Um, I've copied the drums. So if I, I should be able to add the sunset kit in the other project and paste it in here. I can do this in GarageBand iOS. So I'm just not sure if I can do it here. So what we're going to do is close out of Jade's project after copying it. Uh, don't save because I haven't done anything to it. And then I'm going to reopen my version of Murdering Time, this one. And if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to... Add a drum track, Soft, a drum software instruments. Is that what I'm doing here? Uh, drum kit, yeah. And what was it? it? Was a sunset kit, right? Sunset kit, and go to the start. Right click, paste. Hey, only problem is um, I'm one step ahead of you. I know Jade, you're about to tell me that I got to make sure this starts on uh, the third. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Um, hang on. I'll zoom it on in. I'll zoom it on in. So, uh, yeah, I just don't, I should have taken note of where exactly it, uh, where exactly it was. So should they be right there on that third beat? Let's just see if this works in here. Is that it? Yeah. Only sense Darkness, only feeling the pain, only time is behind me, don't have nothing to gain, Delete that one. at the end of my tether. 
only one thing to do. I'm yeah, I love the Toms coming in there. Murdering time to save myself and others from the things in my mind. I'm murdering time, murdering time, so I don't end up taking a life. Murdering time. I dream of someday. All right, loving it. Love it, Jade. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll work through this. Yes, the 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 crash sounds very dark and low. Uh, yeah, maybe we can adjust the crash. So maybe we can um, because we can split the kit, and then we can uh, then we can play around with that. Yeah, I know. I nailed the nailed the pace point. Uh, righty dokey. So where are we at with this? I'm I'm gonna. I've got my mic here. I'm going to. If you'll bear with me, I'm gonna record a couple of takes of vocals. Uh, because I, I kind of rushed the first take of vocal and that way I can use probably the original as a doubled vocal and then maybe we can get a slightly better take uh, here today. Um, we need coffee, then water. I need to wake up and then uh, and then drink. So let's, um, let's jump in. Uh, a bit of water. Oh, I really must take some, maybe 2021 on the list of things to do should be vocal lessons. Because I'm sure that uh, I would be able to sing better if I had some more formal training. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go. Um, Jade said, I normally split and add different crashes, but left it for Pete to split. as is my first time. Yeah, and it's my first time using drums in GarageBand too. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can work out how to split out at least, uh, at least some of the drums. And we'll do that in a moment. But um, now that I have the drums and more of the full arrangement here, uh, I'm thinking I can record a better vocal take to go along with this now that I can sort of feel the groove of it. So let's just make sure that we've got the right sort of balance of the sound levels. All the time is behind me. I do like that bassoon sound. All right, so uh, let's let's do another. Oh, oh, stop, stop, Garage Band, stop. Good, nice, settle. All right, so we'll duplicate out this track. Uh, new track with duplicate settings, and then what, what have we got? Uh, we'll unmute that. We'll the murdering time. So uh, what we'll do? Uh, Ed says, says uh, oh, I've missed that one. Bubba says, you can take advantage of Jay's new rhythmic figure of trip eighth by adding it to the additional instruments. Yeah, true. I can probably build out some different instrument sounds uh, with that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, we'll play with some more instruments in a moment. Uh, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba. <laughs> I'm no longer a garage band Mac. drums in garage band Mac version exactly um yeah we'd love to know what vocal lessons you like I'd love to try some too yeah I um I don't know if she still does them but I interviewed Beth Rawls who's a YouTube content creator uh vocal coach and uh yeah I thought of doing vocal lessons with her would be a lot of fun um and then I can like you know do a do videos about how I did that on my channel you know you gotta think content everything more content right all right what 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 Let's turn down this mic and come over onto this mic. And uh, now what I'd like to do is have one of my ears slightly off so that I can actually stay in tune. That's uh, you know, an old singer trick. Because if you're right here in your headphones, you're often not able to, uh, to stay in tune. There's, I want a little bit down here. I want reverb. Ah, 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 ah. And I actually, that tape delay, I might turn down the wetness of that a little bit. I like a little delay, ba, 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 but not that much. And everything else is okay, because down there. What's the pedal board? Spring box, ah, 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 ba. So there's like a spring reverb on there, check. All right, I'll turn that off for now too, just to uh, get a murdering time. And I always turn my output gain of my vocals up, not the input gain, but the output gain, so that I can hear them better in the mix. Murdering time. The last thing I need for my vocals is 
the words. So uh, I will come over here and search for murdering. And uh, here it is. Oh, only senses the darkness. All right, let's, uh, let's cut a couple of vocal takes and then uh, we will bring it all together. Bring it on home because uh, we got to go home. Ah, only sense of Only senses the darkness Only feeling the pain Only time is behind me Don't have nothing to gain At the end of my tether only one thing to do I'm murdering time Murdering time To save myself and others From the things in my mind I'm murdering time Murdering time So I can <laughs> Alright um, <clears throat> That was a great warm up but none of it's staying. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Uh, when you're listening to something and someone's like, yeah, sure. No, I'm not going to take any of that. <clears throat> so what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to stand up. Oh, lost my, lost my little digi. So I'm going to stand up at the risk of having a terrible camera angle here. Uh, this, is, this is what I do when I sing. And the reason I'm going handheld, you might be thinking, Pete, you're using a, using a large diaphragm condenser. Get a pop filter in front of that and put it on a stand. The reason I do this is you might have noticed that I sway. I'm like getting into the song and I'm moving back and forwards and swaying. And as long as the microphone stays with me, that's okay. If it's on a stand and I'm swaying, I come in and out and you get this sort of effect here and it's really terrible. So that's, my, that's the method to my madness. Uh, let's record another take here. <clears throat> Oh, see, you can already get more of the diaphragm going on. Oh, only, <clears throat> only senses the darkness, only feeling the pain, only time is behind me. have nothing to gain at the end of my tether only one thing to do I'm murdering time murdering time to save myself and others from the thoughts in my mind I'm murdering time, murdering time So I don't end up taking a life Murdering time Right out of voice <clears throat> I dream of someday When all my thoughts Return to me Till then I won't stray For I can trust myself at all These thoughts in my head They spin around like carousels I may be violent, but I just keep it to myself. All righty, <clears throat> we need some water, and then we'll go for take two. You notice that, <laughs> you can just see the top of my head now. You notice that as I get to the end of some of those phrases, I get that bit of gravel, 
and that's not necessarily what I want, but I don't mind it either. Because sometimes it adds a bit of passion that like, when you're singing, you're almost like, ah, so emotional. But we will get some water so that at least the first versions don't have that same problem. Now, the one thing I was noticing there is I don't quite have enough volume in my headphones. So I'm going to turn, again, the output on my mixer up so that I'm getting louder stuff in the left ear here. Again, I'm only getting half of it in the right. Um, and uh, we'll go for another take. I was going to say we'll mute out that one after I duplicate it so that you can still hear me. Then we'll mute it out. All right, now we're good. We'll go back to the start of the track. That level's looking about right. Yep. All right, big deep breath, and uh, let's do another take, shall we? Bah. Back up here. Ah. Uh. Senses the darkness, only feeling the pain. Only time is behind me. Don't have nothing to gain. At the end of my tether. Only one thing to do How murdering time Murdering time To save myself and others From the thoughts in my mind How murdering time Murdering time Didn't like that uh, chorus at all. And plus, I think I can cheat a little bit and give myself um, a cut in here so I can take a breath. So I can hit that first. I'm murdering time much harder. I'm murdering time. Nope. Try again. Oh, there's got to be a way to go back to just where I was, right? I haven't quite got my editing chops down here. How murdering time, murdering time To save myself and others from the thoughts in my mind How murdering time, murdering time So I don't end up taking a life Uh, that, that's what we're going with. That's, that's some takes to work with. That'll give us a couple of takes to work with in the edit. We'll, uh, oh, well, we have already stopped it. That's cool. So we'll put that to one side. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're down here. Bring it on down. There you go. Welcome back. Welcome back to the uh, regular level here. Uh, yeah, so there were bits of that that I liked, other bits of that that uh, not so much. I think I hear some clipping. Maybe it's my PC. No, it might be some clipping, uh, especially in those louder parts. It might have been clipping through, or it might just have been that the output volume of the whole track, along with my singing coming through, uh, was uh, was too loud and it was clipping. But yes, maybe uh, the triplets have an animal's feel. Yeah, right, right. Sounding cool. 
Um, thank you. Uh, let's continue on here. Oh, got a bit of a headache after sing, singing those notes uh, a few times. Um, now, what? I'm at, I'm at the risk here of overcomplicating things, aren't I? But I think we need some piano chords at the start here. I really like this, uh, the sound of the piano here. But I think we need some uh, more piano chords because we have... It comes in here with the time, time. Oh, yeah, there was the clipping, sorry. Um, it's gone up too high. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, it's the uh, the playback of my mixer here. I had that up too loud. I must have turned that up. <laughs> when I turned up my monitoring, I must have turned how much of the mix from the Mac was coming in. So you would have got some clipping there. Apologies. Apologies for your ears. Uh, let's, uh, let's come back to the start. We'll just, uh, we'll get rid of the back up here. Uh, get rid of all this. Oh, don't do that. Undo. Get rid of all this. So we don't have all that. All right, we'll leave that there. Only feeling the pain. And then uh, we'll come back to this piano. So I think um, maybe maybe even right from the start we have the piano. Let's just, I'll, I'll, again, I'll hit record and do some idea ideation just to see what the piano should do here. Turn the volume up on the piano a bit. Only feeling the pain. Only time is behind me. Don't have nothing to gain. At the end of my tether. Some idiot decided <laughs> decided to record in E flat minor, and it's the it's the worst, the worst. So I'm gonna have to do this very slowly because I think. I think that's the kind of chord that we want to have in the start there, um, but I'm not sure. So let's just try and record and we'll see if we can. All right. Yeah, so I think one, two, three. So maybe at this bit. Okay. Just this bit here. Only sense the darkness. I reckon just I reckon something like that Okay, let's go back to the start and let's try it with a bit of that. I can look from At 
the end of my All right, I'm gonna Maybe it needs to go down lower. We were we were debating whether the, the piano needs to be higher or lower yesterday, but we'll uh back up here. Oh, uh, Jeebus. <laughs> I'm record what am I doing? Did I oh, I undid too much and I undid the bit where I was I re recording piano over the vocal somehow. That's talented. <laughs> okay. We'll get rid of that. Careful of your undoes. I obviously undid too many. Now I've, now I've lost my chord structure. <laughs> now I've lost it. Yeah, that... I've completely lost a bit. <laughs> oh, I have to I have to record it, try and find it. So I didn't. I only wanted to come in about halfway through. Only Just here. So at, the, at the end of my tether, we'll change that bit again. So, at the do at the end of my okay, let's try that. At the end of my tether oh, Jesus, what? Uh, Only one thing to do Yeah do, 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 do. Only one thing to And then there's gonna be Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna really testing out my musical theory knowledge too. <laughs> Ed and Bubba in there just like, oh, what did you do? End of my tether. Right. Boom, at the end of my tether. At the end of my <sighs> At the end of my tether. Um, um, it's the key. I, I've caught myself in a corner here with the key. What we're going to do, see, is we're going to, uh, we're going to just mix this down and I think less is more. I think I'm overcomplicating, overcomplicating things here. So maybe I just leave that uh, blank in that section there. Um, or maybe I try and, are there any smart piano keys here where I can just play chords like I can in, <laughs> in GarageBand? <laughs> so I don't have to use this. All right, what we're going to do here, to, in the interest of time, is I'm going to put the keyboard aside, I'm going to put the instruments aside, and we're going to mix down. <laughs> yes, I know, the, the keyboard's objecting. We're going to focus in and mix down a version of this song. So I'm going to reposition myself so I can look over here. 
at the screen and we're going to get into mixing mode here. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, we've got Kyle, he's still over there. We're going to grab Jade's drums here and these are going to be what we're going to work on first. Everything else is going to go to zero. So we're going to do a we're going to do a faders down mix and we're going to build up this track. We're going to do some quick editing. We're going to do some quick fire panning decisions. And then we're just going to go with it. So uh, yeah, there's our three vocal tracks. Finn, I didn't really like you and your shaker. We'll delete you. Uh, you can come back later if you're needed. We're going to go to the vocals there. We've got the left and the right backing vocal. And then we've got our little section down here that we'll edit in. I'll just uh, get rid of the edges of that piano that I clunked there. That may or may not come in at all. I kind of like it, but it may, it's, it's just so hard to play. I should have uh, transposed it again. Only time is behind me. Don't have nothing. All right, so we'll do that. That's going to go down to zero. Faders down on this one. So let's, uh, let's first uh, get these drums together. All of our faders are down. And then, like a good GarageBand person, I will do a file, save as, and save this as Murder in Time number five, because Jade had version four with her drums, and then we'll get there. Uh, do, do everyone use GarageBand here? Uh, I use Logic Pro. Yeah, we've got GarageBand, we've got Logic Pro users, we've got everyone. <laughs> I get quiet when the topic turns to theory too, Gary. Um, yeah, it, it, I, I like it and I enjoy it, but I don't know enough about it, and then I get frustrated like I did just then. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's me having a temper tantrum. That's the closest you'll probably get, uh, where I'm just like, I can't play the chords, and then I get sad. Um, all right, let's come back here to the start. So, Jade's drums are here. We'll bring this in here. Yeah, so maybe we can split these out. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new track with duplicate settings. Let's see if the same methodology can work with uh, with copying these drums because it's a little bit different here. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll copy it and paste it down to the next track. Oh, I copied it over the same track. Copy it over to the next track. Uh, just just between you and me, I can't wait to get back to GarageBand iOS. <laughs> I miss it ever so. So I think everything's pretty good here, like in terms of the balance. I think it is just the, the crashes, which are... I think the crash, as Asa said before, I think these crashes just need to be a different crash, like a, a slightly more um, trebly kind of crash. It's got a little bit too much bass in there. So what I should be able to do is just grab out all the crashes... And copy them. I cut them, in fact, because I don't want them in this one. So this is without the crashes. And then create a separate crash track down here. But actually, in fact, I don't even have to copy those because they're still already here. I could just uh, remove everything else. Because, like, you could do this with everything. Um, like, so that all the different drum kit pieces have their own track. But I'm going for speed here at the moment. And this way, what I can do is change up this kit and find something... That's going to have a different... Oh, every, is it going to do that every time? That's not bad. What's the bluebird got? Oh, don't go to that every time. Maybe... Um, maybe the Liverpool kit. The Liverpool kit. Yeah, maybe that's the that sort of sound. Instead of the uh, the really deep sort of crash, let's just try this out. What do you reckon? That crash working in better with that uh, kit? I reckon that sounds like kind of nice and low down. Uh, Ed's saying that the songwriter has a nice soft sound. Let's try the songwriter kit. Uh, which one is that? Is that in here? The scientific method is one of the songwriter kits. Uh, I'm going to leave it with this for now. If you got suggest, if, if you think I should try something else, let me know. But I'm going with, I'm going to leave it because it's sounding pretty good. So I, I really like the sound of those drums. I love that we have a score as well. 
Ah, look at that. So we're not quantizing, we're not doing anything in there. All right, all good. Uh, now, how do I get to... So that's that's all my sort of MIDI controls there. How do I get to... Is it this one? Ah, there we go. So the knobs for the controls that we have here. So I like to use a bit of uh, master reverb on everything. So we're going to come in here and set my master reverb to be... Master reverb to be like a... Um, probably like a club kind of sound that we want. A live club kind of sound in this one. So just so that we've got a little master reverb on there. And let's just try this and just dial this in. So we still don't want that much, but that's the sort of reverb we want, yeah? Just like that. Make sure it's on the cymbal. Just to create that smoky kind of ambient feel here on the drums. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, all right, so that's our drums. Now um, we're going to bring in this bassoon, which is kind of our, our bass, uh, just to sort of match the drum and bass. Just gently in the background there. That was early. So we'll come in here and we'll do some... Can I zoom? Can I, oh, what, what's, what's my zoom in function? Apart from this on my mouse, I can't seem to get it to zoom. Anyway, uh, so we'll just make sure that this bassoon's in time. Oh, oh, it's scrolling backwards and forwards at the same time. This is creepy. Why is it doing that? Oh, now it's going the right way. <laughs> All right. I did play it much harder in this section. Uh, yeah, that needs to be duh, 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 for the timing of it. I'm going to trust the rest of my playing and uh, if and when I hear any things, I'll go for that. Uh, see you, Ed. I uh, hope, uh, hope you have a good day, my friend. Good evening um, in your part of the world. Uh, let's get rid of this bass because that didn't come to anything. That was an epic fail. Let's bring in the guitar because this is obviously going to be the centerpiece instrument that we need to work around. So we'll come in here and we'll, uh, we'll get this guitar happening. Now, I've never used any of these controls here, so I don't really know what I'm doing with this, but it looks like we have like we have the ability to like change things like your stereo width here. We've got sends, which again, I haven't used um, I haven't used sends and receives, so I'm not going to learn in the next 30 minutes. Uh, we've got a single dial compressor here that we can play around. Actually, it's not on. That's probably why I was not hearing that. So let's uh, let's just solo this guitar and just see if it needs any compression just to level it out a bit. Yeah, a little compression on there. And I'm going to go super simple on this mix. I'm not going in and adding a bunch of different plugins and different delays and things. I've used the stock standard here. We've got some master reverb on there. And the reason I'm adding a compression is that with something like acoustic guitar, if I hit a string not quite as loud, I kind of, unless I go in and automate a whole bunch, what a compressor will do is kind of level all that stuff out a little bit for me. 
Uh, good night, uh, oh, Halvard. I'm going to sleep now. It's 105 in Norway. Uh, good night, my friend. Uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully those uh, that are watching heeded the warning at the start that this is this is a different kind of thing that we're doing here. This is to actually legitimately finish a song. So I know it's going to be a little slower going than uh, what most things are. All right, so let's bring this back into our mix and see with that little bit of compression what that's doing. I think that's sitting nicely in there, yeah? Yep, I think it sounds good. I'm not going to mess about with it. Now we have our second guitar that comes in in the second section here. So let's uh, blend this one in here. Do the same here, we'll add a little compression. I like that default sound you're getting out of this. I'm gonna give this one quite a quite a bit of reverb actually. Because these are kind of playing more of the the longer chords, so when we bring it back in. guitars aren't stepping on each other. I kind of want that second guitar to go wider. Now I don't have wider plug-in on here, but can I just, can I push the stereo width of this one out and bring this one in a little bit closer? I don't really want to be panning them left and right, but I do want to have a difference in width with these two. So there's the original one, kind of more down the middle. Oh yeah, that's right around the middle. That's right out wide. I like that. So that one about there. And then this one, sort of sitting on the edges. I reckon that sounds beautiful together. You've got enough stereo width there. I love this. Uh, Jade says, I love it how Pete always leaves to the last three days to complete his song. Spark song. I uh, mean, I don't always, always nail it, but uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, do, do, will compression mellow out the B string of the main arpeggio or is it by design, Pete? Uh, I'm not sure. Do, is that what it's doing? I'm not sure. Um, I'd split those kicks out so that they aren't so punchy. You reckon the kicks are sort of punching in a bit too much, so the kicks need to come down a notch? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. That's why you're here. That's why we have folks like you who are here helping out. So we'll do the same thing we did then. Now there's got to be a way that I can, you know, like shift click and pull this down or control click and pull this down or something. There's got to be an easy way to do this than copy, blah, blah, right click, paste. I think I, I need you to get my keyboard shortcuts going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the kicks out of the original, which are those. See it kicks. You're gone. Deleted. And then in this track, we're going to give just the kicks. So there's our kicks. We'll get rid. I love the sound when you do that. So fun. All right, they're gone. So now we've got a kick track. So we've got crash, kick, and rest of kit. So we'll just uh, mix this back in. Oh wait, that's not, not, this is a kick. Around about there. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's um, not covering as much. Yeah, more of a jazz club feel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Orchestra Eclipse says, uh, I do film score covers, which are easy to orchestrate, but hard to mix and make sound full. Yeah, my, my secret sauce on that is honestly um, master reverb. I know it's 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 cheesy and it seems too obvious and simple, but I think it works. I think 
what we forget is that when you're pulling an orchestra together, <laughs> hence the name, if you're pulling together a score, you're basically trying to make it sound like all those players are actually in one space playing together, as opposed to what can end up happening is it sounds like 12 different individual instruments in different spaces. So that's where I think just having, and I should probably learn how to use sends and receives and set up a proper reverb track and send stuff in there. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm short on time. As Jade said, I like the, and Mark's obviously heard me say this before, positive time pressure. It's an amazing thing. You get a lot of stuff done when you just got to do it. I've got I've got a job for a client. Um, shout out to you, uh, uh, Clay, um, which I need to do. And I'm, I've just got to sit down and do it because again, uh, Clay's been kind enough to say, I oh, just take Christmas. Don't worry. Don't stress. Don't rush. So I did. And now I'm like, nah, I just got to sit down and go, this is going to get done in these two hours and do it. I'm saying that to myself. <laughs> All right. So we got these guitars here, which uh, are doing these little, little bits in this section here. So we've got, uh... oh, why is that not playing? Oh, good. What am I doing? What have I done wrong here? Why have my audio? Oh, because. The volume's all the way down, Pete. Well done, son. Uh, now, I kind of... I want to use the same sort of tactic with this because this version here, this guitar, sort of comes in and then keeps going. So this one's got to stay centred, but this one I might use... I'm, I'm liking this very simple, like, channel strip we have here with the widener on it. So because we've got this one here, I'm going to put this one way out here to start with, and then this one, when it comes in, is going to be sort of more up the guts like that. And then again, we'll turn the compressors on because that gives us a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. And let's just solo these two in together because this one doesn't come in till down here, I reckon. Let's uh, play these bits here. So this is a bit that does the... Oh, we need to bring it back to there too. Oh, double tap doesn't work. So that one's sort of a bit wider and then this one comes in in the middle. Yeah, nice. And then goes into this sort of business here. Man, when you're hearing your timing, um, yeah, it, it sounds really bad, doesn't it? Not, not bad, bad, but like, yeah, when, when you're hearing your timing on something, after the fact, um, you're like, and, and soloed, that's the thing, try not to listen to too much of your stuff in solo. It's never gonna sound as good as it would otherwise. Why have I lost my master bit here? Why can't I see, there's my track stuff. Oh, there you go. It's Cause the master reverb is in the track setting. Go figure. Uh, so again, we want that reverb on here cause that's my secret source. That live room club sound reverb. Let's bring all these guitars together and just make sure that they play nicely. Uh, that was my vocal. That's all right. I'll, I'll need that on the vocals too. Uh, where was I? Guitars are up here. Guitars are up here, Pete. There we go. That one. And that one's already got a bit of verb on it. All right. Let's let's uh, let's pull these guitars together and just make sure that they're all playing nicely. We don't get any weird phasing or anything. I only used one mic and it was the same mic, so we should be fine. Here's where all four of them are playing. And... This one here just may need a little EQ. Uh, do I use this or do I try and add in an actual EQ? Let's just uh, let's just drop the mids down a little bit. There you go. I'm doing very simple stuff here. Normally, I'd go in, I'd put a parametric on, I'd kind of work out what frequency I want to pull down and do it. But we're doing this the simple way. Keep it simple. Hopefully we still get a good sound out of it. So let's come back to the start uh, and see how we go with our instrumentals so far. These are our real instrument instrumentals, apart from our drums and bassoon, of course, but uh, we'll come up to here. Yep. 
I think that's good. All right, let's uh, let's bring the uh, let's bring the the horns. No, now was I going to use this piano? No, that that just wasn't working for me. Sorry, sorry, piano. I know it had potential, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> We're just going to let this crescendo right into this bit and then just hit it hard, right? So let's bring the piano in first because I think this is our key instrument down here. So I like that volume of that piano. I'm going to do a really quick hack here. I'm just going to do a duplicate that track. I'm going to bring this, this piano down to here because I want it to be kind of softer to there and then louder in this bit. I could use automation, but again, I'm being, I'm doing it the quick way because this piano bit, I want it to just be bedded like that. Come in a little bit louder here. All right, uh, let's bring the strings in, shall we, and get these happening. How's my master master fader looking? Pretty heavy, yeah. Now, see, that's not a master fader. I'm going to have to work out where I actually get, where I can see my master fader. Because we have one, right? I just don't know where it is. <laughs> is there a way to add that? If someone wants to tell me how to add a master fader, that would, uh, that would be good. Yeah, I like the, the counterpoint with the, uh, with the bassoon. Um, I, I like it too. And Jay did some cool sort of vocal counterpoint stuff um, when she was playing her drum bit on her show today. And I almost want to steal some of that, but maybe, maybe out of time. Again, this, I'm going to finish a version of this and then maybe we'll come back and play more in the future. Or like I said, I'll just hand it out to the community and you folks can start adding stuff in and maybe we'll build a mega version of it. That could be a bit of fun. So with these strings, I'm thinking I want some I want some panning, but again I want to I want to do this double up trick here. So when they first come in here, we're going to new track. Uh, I'm going I want these on the on one side, and then I want the horns on the other side. So I think we get some good feels if we like put the horns over here on the left, and then the strings on the right, and for this section here, have them. That way we get a nice stereo scape there. But then when they come in down here, they kind of need to be centered, yeah? All right, come back to the start here and bring these back in our mix. There's a little arpeggiator bit or something missing in there that just does a boom, 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 boom. Pizzicato strings is what's needed in there to just do a boom, 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 boom. Like right there. Do we have pizzicato strings in here? I don't know, man. Let's find out. Uh, what am I looking for? Orchestral strings. Uh, we don't have any pizzicato strings. I want some plump, 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 plump. What, what's close to that that I could use? A harp? A harp, maybe? Oh no, where's my... Oh. That sounds a bit weird, but... Um, 
put it in with a harp. Just let's just play around with it for a minute. Yeah, so it just needs to have like a just in that middle bit. Or maybe like an up an octave. Like, don't you reckon something like that in between those bits is just kind of missing in there? Let's just try it. Just as like a little break here. Maybe it has to go down. Maybe it's lower. Maybe it's the octave lower. But like, I'm, I think there's a little arpeggiated bit missing there. I'm breaking everything here today. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Um, maybe it's an option with the smart strings. Maybe it is, Tom. Maybe it is. Um, or maybe I can find some other sound. I don't, it's definitely not a harp sound that I want. It's so weird when it does that thing where it sc scrolls one way and the other way at the same time, but. Almost like a, oh, it might be a keyboard, maybe like a Celesta, like a toy Celesta piano-y type kind of thing. Uh, how do we get back there? Uh, boop, 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 keyboards. Oh, we've got all this sort of stuff, don't we? Mm, maybe like the toy Celesta. That might sound a bit too clunky, a bit clinky. <laughs> Melodica. No, no, no. See it. <laughs> Maybe not. There's something there that I reckon that it needs to have, but I can't quite think. My head's not quite there with what it needs to be at this point in time. Maybe a mallet sound. Maybe like a marimba. Like a boom, boom, boom. That's the closest that we've got so far. So I'm just going to put that in there now as a bit of a placeholder, and it's just going to end at, after it does that one time through. And just like really subtly in the background and maybe even up the octave as well. So maybe we, yeah, that's kind of better, isn't it? So maybe we put it there and we also put it up the octave up here. Oh no, that's not going to work. Oh, I don't know how to do this on here. <laughs> uh, I could transpose. Oh, let's, let's cheat. I insist we cheat. Uh, new track with duplicate settings and let's just <laughs> copy it and then transpose it. <laughs> copy. Paste. This is like the uh, the how not to use GarageBand. Patrick Patrick Baird would be rolling around in his grave, except he's he's very much still with us and well. Sorry, Patrick. How you doing? <laughs> oh, that's our volume. That's not our slider. All right. Let's just see again. Just it, there's just something in there that I needed that's just going to sit there subtly in the background. I'm putting it in there for now because I think it's fun. Yeah, it's like a vocal. Yeah, maybe we could. We'll, we'll experiment with that afterwards. Let's get. We haven't got the vocals in here yet. So, uh, in the interest of time, because uh, what are we? Yeah, I wanted to try to do it between an hour and a half and two today, and end with a version I can export and share at this point in time. Because uh, that way, if I don't get back to it before the end of the year, uh, then we're all good. All right, let's zoom on in or out or whatever direction that is. I've got stuff going everywhere. Now, we need to pick which vocals that we do because I realise that I haven't even uh, gone back to these vocals. I think the third one was the better version I had. And this second one here, I may be able to chop in and out if I need to because these were probably the best two takes. So let's uh, bring the vocal on in and do a quick bit of vocal vocal playing here. We'll come into this one here so we can look at the... Yep, that's the one I want. Oh, let's play this. Uh, but... 
bit more compression there. I'm uh, on the wrong track. Undo. I think that chorus wasn't particularly good. Uh, now, how do I split? This is going to test me. Split that playhead. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll come to here. And we'll split out these two vocals so that I can kind of create a comp track, maybe. Uh, what is it? Command T is to split. Command T. There you go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So, I'm thinking uh, we won't delete between them. I'll create a extra track here and make it a comp track. New track, the duplicate. So this can be our comp. So I liked the first bit there, and then I'm gonna bring in the first version of the chorus here, so. Only one thing to do. How murdering time, murdering time to save myself and Murdering time, murdering time, so I don't end up taking a life. Murdering. Oh, I cut off the time. Murdering time. Taking a life. Murdering time. The murdering time in that one didn't sound super good, did it? Life. A murdering time. Yeah, I was to totally running out of breath there. Um, I don't end up taking a life. Yeah, so maybe that whole section. Time, murdering time. So, so I wonder if I can cut it in between those two and it's going to be all right. Uh, we'll find out, hey? Uh, uh, so that's that version. That's the first version. We'll pop that up there and pop this one down. Let's see if it, if it transitions okay. Murdering time, murdering time, so I don't end up taking a... All right, I need to just uh, adjust that cut point so it's a little bit further down. Boop, 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 boop. And bu -bu 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 -bu. and it should be almost seamless. Time, so I don't end up taking a life. A murdering nothing time. time. Yep, cool. So we'll go to there. And then which version of this last bit's gonna be better? Is it gonna be I think it was the second version. This is this is how slapdash we're getting here now. We're just going I dream of some Yep. When all my thoughts return to me Till then I won't stray For I can't trust myself at all These thoughts in my head all right, I don't have the vocals, the backing vocals in here yet, do I? That's why it was not quite sounding full as I wanted it to. So let's bring the backing vocals in. My vocal level, I always mix vocals too loud. So I'll, I'll mix them and then you guys can all tell me to turn them down and I will. Ring time, murdering time To save myself and others From the thoughts in my mind 
A murdering time, murdering time. So I don't end up taking a life. A murdering time. So I think we're close. We're around about the mark of a, a static mix. So uh, I'll jump over to the chat and say good day, and then we'll finish off and get a static mix version of this done. Then I can sleep on it. Uh, folks can give me your comments and thoughts, and then we'll uh, reconvene and see how we're going. Uh, Garage Band looks like logic. It totally does now, doesn't it? A hundred percent. Hello, G Loss. Uh, yeah, thank you. you no, know, the, the wider effect is super cool, isn't it? Great, uh, great little effect. Uh, Langston Reese is in the house. Hello there. Hope you're doing well. You murdered it, mate. Murdered it. <laughs> I know I'm writing a song called Murdering Time and then I'm like, Patrick is uh, rolling around in his grave. Quick, six, uh, someone quick, check on Patrick. Patrick is fine. Last time I spoke to him anyway. Uh, thanks, Bob. And uh, yeah, once I get this done, Bob, if you do want to play around and, and add in some real horn, that would be really cool. The the the, the real horn version would be would be nice. Uh, thank you, Lee. Yeah, uh, it was, was an actual acoustic guitar. So I had, it's over there, it's fallen over. Um, but I did, I, I used my acoustic guitar to record the guitar bits as well. Um, all right, now let's, uh, go back to the start of this track. I'm going to play it through and just listen and sort of tweak as I go where I hear things that need to go. But this is going to be pretty close, uh, to where we want it to be. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few tracks going on here. For my first, again, for my first GarageBand Mac attempt, I'm reasonably happy with where we've ended up here, which is all you can really hope for, right? And we can only go from strength to strength. What are the mistakes I made? Well, I made it in E flat minor. Terrible mistake because playing all the keyboard instruments was hard, even when I sort of did some transposition tricks and things. Um, apart from that, yeah, everything's gone all right. And my skills, my speed and my skills of zooming in and out and dropping things around and editing, it took a lot longer in GarageBand Mac because never used it before. So they're the couple of things. But um, let's go see. Again, I was reaching up to the screen to, to edit the start of this track, but uh, I can't do that. So uh, let's come in here, make sure that that sits there. And... Yep, so it doesn't need to have that. We can start doing the cleanup process. So that can be there. We don't ever want it to be right on there. Always want to give it a couple of notches. You don't want to hear too much beforehand, but you also don't want to cut off your first note if you come in a little bit early. So we'll do it there and... Senses the darkness, only feeling the pain, only time is behind me. Don't have nothing to gain at the end of my tether.
that one guitar just kept going a bit, didn't it? I think it was this one, I did one more chord. Which I didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so we might just need to uh, automate that down, maybe. This could be my first attempt at automation. And it's so the waveform is so low because it's so quiet there at the end that I can't even see where it's at. Uh, so it's the last one. Yeah, so it should just end on that one there. So if we automate from like there, we'll just hit the A button and we'll add in volume, automation, tap it, tap it, tap it, and just cut it like real fast. So that, cause we've got the other guitar that can do the resonance in there. So let's just bring it back in. Yeah, cool. Uh, that just a little, little bit of dusting up there. All right. That's coming together pretty well. I don't like the, the way I sung the, in this version. So let's see if we can find a better version of that last vocal. If we come in here. Uh, the, and I just keep it to myself. This little bit here. Violence. I think I tried something on this vocal that really didn't work. So maybe this one has a better one. Oh. Just keep it to my yeah, that's a better version. So um, we'll cut that one in. We'll remove this one. Hang on. Uh, Command T. There you go. That can go back to its original. And then this one, Command T. And if you're wondering why I do that, it's so I kind of know which version I used in my comp track. So you can see here that kind of, even though I moved it around a bit, uh, you can see whether I use take one or take two in each part. And the one that's not here is there. And then that one's there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so let's see if that's going to have improved this. We'll remute that and bring it in here. Maybe violence. Just need to give that a little bit more space for that T to hit properly. There you go. Oh, maybe Now I needed that to be like that at the end there, but I do need some volume. So let's again go to our automation and we'll tap in some points and just bring that up like that because we need it. I wanted that soft sound, but we need to be able to hear it over the instruments. Violence. That's way too loud. Down about there. Then we can cut the vocals at the end there because we don't need anything because it's self and then it finishes and then we don't need that. Yeah. What am I saying there? <laughs> Where is, where is there words where I could hear myself saying the last note? Was that picked up in my guitar? That's really weird. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen to that. Oh, no. That's weird. Did you hear that? Like, in the end there, it's like, let's let that last note roll out. <laughs> Uh, is GarageBand on iPad different from Mac? Yes, substantially. It's the same, it's similar, yet different, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you, my friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. It's coming along here. It's coming along. Uh, thank you, Mark. Appreciate you. Uh, Got to go. No problem. Thanks for dropping in. Nice chatting. Let's, uh, yeah, I, I think <laughs> that's really weird. I might automate that out, but I kind of, I'm going to leave it in there because it's, for now, I kind of like those funny accidental things that you have like that. Um, let's say, so how do I export from here? That's, that's a really interesting question. <laughs> how do I uh, export this track as a wave? Cause what I want to do and. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'm going to do, uh, I might put this up on slaps now, just so that we can, I can have somewhere to stick it so that I know that I've got a version, yeah? So we'll come back to the start. So I'm assuming, first of all, we'll save. So we'll do a save as, and we'll make it version six, because that's important to do your version control. And then I'm assuming I do mix, no, share, share, export, export song to disc. Is that what I'm looking for? We'll try it. Export song to disc. There you go. So murdering time, number two, da, 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 da. wave file, please. We want uncompressed 24 bit. Uh, cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, export. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it's doing its thing. It's bouncing, bouncing it down. Uh, hello, Vincent. I hope you are doing well. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Same, same, but different. The difference between Mac and uh, GarageBand iOS. Right, it adds character. I know at the, at the end of No Apologies, there's a little um, chair squeak, and I kind of like it. It makes me feel happy when I hear it. All right, so that's exported, but I'm assuming it's probably still got that little gap at the start, does it? So do I need to bring it back in and, like, edit it? What, what would I use to edit just to trim? I normally use Audio Share. What's the Mac equivalent to do something like that? Because I'm assuming I can now go to my Finder and find that file that I just exported. Let me just try this. Studio Live Today, Murdering Time, WAV file. Yep, so here it is. I'll just bring this over here. Here is the WAV file. So if we just double click it, it should just load it straight up into music. Okay, so it doesn't have too much in front of it. Let's just see. Is it... We'll play. Eh, it's okay for this version. Gary Hubs, woot woot. The darkness. All right, let's just try slapping it, shall we? <laughs> if you didn't know what slaps was and uh, you were watching a stream and someone's, uh, there was a guy on the screen and he's like, why don't we try slapping it? You'd be like, mm, I don't think YouTube would like that. Censored. Yeah, don't, don't, don't slap it live on camera, people. Um, can end badly. All right, here's slaps. Hello, slaps. Oh, you know what we don't have? We don't have an album art. We're going to have to quickly whip up album art. You know, this is one of my favorite parts here. So whipping up some album art. Uh, we want to go create a design. And we want to go custom dimensions, 3K by 3K. We'll do it. There it is. Or well, this could get me on some lists. Um, I, want a uh, I want like a clock with blood. Jade, I reckon you should design the album art for this because I reckon you'd do a really cool one, like a, a clock that's like dripping blood. But um, yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, all right, let, let's just see. Um, I'll go broken clock for now. How about broken clock? I think it's something like this. Yeah, yeah, like that, right? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll mess this up a bit. This could just be it, right? Um, I like that. I like that a lot. We'll kind of just mess it up here. Um, bo -bo 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 -bo. Uh, let's go in with some effects. And let's make it like something like that. Yeah, come on. That's going to do it for now. And then we'll... Uh, we'll do, we, do we blur it a little? Adjust it. Give it a little blur. Just to put it in the background. Uh, like that. And then we'll put Justin some big F off letters in the front with murdering time. Uh, what sort of font do we want? Something like this. Yeah, just like murdering time. All right, and zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, there we go. Nice, right? Right? Uh, we need to embiggen that a bit. Uh, 150, about like that. Um, murdering time. And then we'll give it a little bit of this business, just around the edges, so that it kind of sticks out a little bit. Uh, this we can we can play with this later. This is just for the slaps, for the slaps. Copy it and paste Maya down here, and we'll put in here money. There you go. Featuring Jade Star. I should put featuring Jade Star, shouldn't I? Because you are on this. Uh, do I make these? To make this like darker or something. Let's not mess about, shall we? Let's uh, leave it at that for now. We'll download that one as a JPEG because that's what Slaps needs and we'll download it. 
We got some time murdering. Hello, Sion. I hope you're doing well, my friend. And, uh, all right, so that's downloading. Come on, faster. We got some slapping to do. All right, slaps. And we will upload. How do we upload? Uh, post. Post it. Post it to slaps. And we'll put it in the create record release group. And I guess we can add it to GarageBand. Different kind of GarageBand. Uh, that's my artist name. Murdering time. Uh, we can drag our audio file. We'll choose it here. It should be one of the more recent ones. No, it's not there. All right, we'll have to go in here. We'll have to go into Studio Live today. And that one. Open it. All right, so that's going to upload the file. Album artwork, we should be able to just drag on like that. Now that it's downloaded. Come on, son. It's really slow. Why so slow? You upload faster, please. All right. Um, okay. December Song Spark. Is it Song Spark or Song Spark? December Song Spark. Tune recorded and mixed in a couple of days. <laughs> Nas one. We don't have any other links. Why is that taking so long to just upload that JPEG? That's annoying. Come on, little fella. Or tap the screen. That'll make it go faster. Nope, not going to go faster. Alas, alas. Why is it taking so long? I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't, I can't make it slap yet because it hasn't uploaded it. Look. Uh, uh, uh. Ideally a JPEG. Well, ideally you'd work. All right, let's just do it this way. Uh, recent. Uh, crud. Downloads. That one. Open. I can't do it. That, there's no way that a two, two megabyte JPEG file should be taking that long to upload. That's redonkulous. I'm going to have to start this again. But I don't want to. I don't want to start it. I'm going to process again. Curses. Curses. Come on. No. She's buggered. All right. Well, we're going to have to finish off there then. I'll, I'll, I'll get this fixed and I'll get this out. I don't know what is it doing. What? Oh, yeah, okay. We'll start it again. All right. Let's 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 try the image first. and We'll do it this way and see if it uploads any faster. It's got significant issues with uploading image files. All right. Slaps is having puppies, so we'll leave it. We'll leave it be for now. Um, and we'll go back to here. So we'll uh, we'll play ourselves out here um, by listening to the final mix down version here of uh, of Murdering Time. Uh, so thank you all for being here. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, G. Who got G? Lost Gary Hubs E L L B. Um, uh, Tom Rochelle's been here. Jade, of course, who provided the drums for this. Vincenzo. Um, everyone else who I've seen here. Thank you for being here and for bearing with me for another two hours worth of uh, of fun time. So uh, let's let's play back this version i can't make any changes so i'm going to turn my mic down take a listen and we'll play it out yes time has been murdered we've killed two hours of it so this is the premiere of the first mixed version that i can't slap yet of uh, murdering time let's take a listen shall we Murdering time, murdering time So I don't end up taking 
<laughs> Memo to self. Your guitar pickup picks up your voice when you talk. Don't speak while playing acoustic guitar. Good idea. Good idea, right? Uh, there you go. I'm I'm pretty happy with the outcome there. Uh, now I have uh, I we the whatever, let's try those words again. It wasn't working in slaps, but I have uploaded it to SoundCloud, and it's just finishing doing that. So while we were listening to that, I did upload to the SoundClouds. And, uh, oh, SoundCloud has its own little mastering thing now. That's a bit special. It, uh, I finished uploading it and it said, um, do you want to do this? Oh, no. Uh, the, the name of the track is, uh, has been, uh, okay. It, it called it the file name. So uh, that's, I'm going to have to fix this. Uh, edit, edit. I know you can't see this at the moment, but I'm just going to go boom. Will that change? No, I'm going to edit and change my uh, link. I know it doesn't need to be murdering time, blah, 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 blah. It can just be murdering time like that. Okay. Save it. All right. Uh, so I should be able to now share this. Share it. Uh, there we go. Copy. Right. Um, so I'll, bro I'll drop it in over here. Come up. So yeah, um, sadly, slaps didn't work, but SoundCloud seems to be fine. So here it is uh, again. We've got it in the SoundClouds. What? There we go. So I can share it with my friends over at the uh, over at the Song Spark group because this was a Song Spark challenge for December to do a murder ballad, and there you go. That may be my finest only murder ballad that I've ever created here in Garage Band. So that is going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for being here and for keeping me company and for keeping me sane and for helping me with all the ideas and the suggestions and the things that we incorporate into the track. I do appreciate you. Uh, please uh, hang around because we've got a couple of cool things coming up in the next couple of days. Tomorrow for my patrons, we've got a big Patreon live stream. So uh, do jump in on that if you are a patron. And then uh, the next day, or is it tomorrow. I haven't quite got my schedule ready yet, but I'm doing the top 10 paid apps of 2020. So the top 10 apps that I've used, I've done the free version. We're going to do the paid version. So uh, thank you for being here. <laughs> Jay made a bleeding clock cover. I'll send it to you. Awesome. There you go. That could be the that could be the original one that we have there. Um, yeah, very cool. Good to have you here, Bubba. Thank you. And uh, sleep well. Well, I, I shouldn't go to sleep because it's, um, it's 11.30 a.m. But when I do, I I will do it well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tinku. Thank you, Gary Hubs. Thank you, uh, Devils. Uh, did you take out the piano from yesterday, chord changes? Y you, you'll have to catch it. We did a bunch of stuff here. You have to catch the replay, um, which will be available uh, soon. So uh, thanks, everyone, please. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. Keep creating, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.